Welcome to Connect360, the networking tool that will enhance your virtual FarmSci360 experience and enable you to share your research and exchange ideas with scientists from around the world. Connect360 is an AI-driven matchmaking tool that enables you to network with other FarmSci360 registrants. It's a powerful tool that generates networking recommendations based on your interests. It also allows you to connect with other meeting registrants at mutually convenient times. Once you complete your profile, you'll be able to send messages and set up virtual meetings so that you can meet other scientists, reconnect with colleagues, and video chat with poster authors, exhibitors, and other attendees. Once you've registered for the meeting, you will receive an invitation to set up your Connect360 account. Once this is done, you will be able to start connecting with other registrants even before FarmSci360 starts. To begin, you must build your profile. To log in, enter your email address and four-digit registration number. This number can be found on your FarmSci360 registration confirmation email. Once you create your password, you will be taken to this page. Here, you will complete several fields. Connect360 needs to know what you're interested in and a bit about your professional background so it can match you with others who have like interests. Fill out all the sections. When you're finished, hit the Next button on the bottom right. A consent screen will appear. Don't worry, our platform complies with GDPR. Others using Connect360 won't have access to your personal or private information unless you want them to have it. We won't give out your email address, phone number, or physical address. It will be up to you to decide what you choose to share with your connections. Check this box and you can start taking advantage of the power of Connect360. Wondering who GRIP is? That's the software that powers Connect360. Next, click the profile icon in the upper right corner. Check the correct spelling of your name. You can edit it if it's misspelled or have changes. An attention-getting headline and a photo. To add your photo, click on the blue ball at the bottom of the right of the square. Browse your files and add your picture. Putting a face to your name makes it more likely people will connect with you. The headline field is very important since it's one of the few things people will see when they're looking to connect with others. So spend a little time on making this something descriptive and memorable about you or your company. Here's an example. Managing your availability for meetings is going to be especially important for this event. Once you complete your profile, the next step is to schedule the times you'll be available to meet. Set up your personal schedule based on when you plan to be available to meet. Don't worry about time zones. Connect360 displays calendars to attendees in their time zones. Remember, if you select busy on all days, you won't be able to network with anyone. FarmSci360 has a full schedule of events and sessions, as well as time for networking. Try to set aside a few days with blocks of open time to network with your colleagues discuss a poster, or chat with an exhibitor. Want to make administrative changes like changing your email or password? It's easy. Just click Change Email or Change Password in the left navigation panel. Manage notifications is important when managing your chats, so we'll come back to that. Under More, you will find additional administrative information including About This Solution, user feedback, privacy policy, and acceptable use policy. Click on any of these to view. Important. If you have questions or need help using Connect360, click user feedback and staff will be available to assist you during the FarmSci360 meeting. Click the notifications button on the top right of your screen. This shows all your notifications. It includes people who have requested a meeting with you as well as those who have accepted meetings with you. Check your notifications regularly as they can accumulate quickly and you don't want to miss opportunities to meet with people you are interested in or who are interested in you. Become familiar with all the tabs on the left navigation pane. For example, 
When you click the My Connections tab, you'll see people with whom you've met or with whom you share an interest. You can also click here. This tab will be available throughout the event. Let's review the networking process again. Set up your profile, then set up your schedule to let others know when you're available. Now it's time to meet people. There are three ways to network using Connect 360. The first is recommendations. Connect 360 provides you with recommendations based on your profile. They appear in your profile page. Connect 360 also suggests matches based on how you react to the recommendations provided. It learns about your preferences, those people that you skip and those that you connect with, and makes new recommendations based on your actions. You can also search for people by name or by term. If you know exactly who you're looking for, simply type their name. Keywords work as well. The search box is in the upper left of your screen. The third way to network is by referring to a list of specific groups of people. At the bottom of the left navigation panel, you can select from several lists including attendees, exhibitor representatives, exhibiting companies, and all. Each of these lists show who is registered for the meeting in alphabetical order. You can also filter these lists. Use the down arrow to expand the filter options. The same questions you answered while completing your profile are shown at the top. For example, you can sort by any of these terms including career stage, business type, and others. Please note that if you select skip or interested, the entries don't disappear. They will always remain available when you're searching the list. You can always come back to them and reselect if needed. Most likely, you will use the Recommended for You button most often. When you click here, you will see three options tied to each recommendation. Here's how they work. When scrolling through and you see someone that you want to skip, click Skip. Notice their name disappears. Remember, if this was a list, they would remain. It's solely your decision who you want to connect with. Skip tells Connect360 that this is not a person you're interested in connecting with. The platform uses this information to make better recommendations for you going forward. It's always learning based on your actions. Once you hit skip, the person moves to the My Skip list. Don't worry, that person will not know that you skipped them. If you skip someone in error, simply select that person in your My Skip list. Hit the Unskip option and they will go back into recommendations. The Interested button is an important one. It shows the list of people who are interested in your profile. If you click Interested on any of the recommendations, they will move into your My Interested list on the left navigation panel. Also, they are alerted and will receive a notification. Remember, you are not scheduling a meeting yet. You don't need to do this to have a meeting. It's just another way for you to make connections through Connect360. Again, when you click Interested, they leave this view and they go into your My Interested list. You can always send them back to recommendations, but this shows Connect360, the people you're specifically interested in meeting, so it will know to send you more of the same. You can also see who's interested in you here. If someone clicks Interested on your profile, and you click Interested Back, a handshake symbol appears. It means that you have formed a connection with this individual. You can now do several things. You can go to their profile to learn more about them. You will also notice that a chat button appears. You can now chat with this individual whenever you want. Any person that you have a meeting with or have a shared mutual interest in becomes a connection and shows up in My Connection List in the left navigation panel. Remember, checking your notifications is important. You will find the numbers build up in both the Notifications tab in the upper right and in the My Connections tab on the left. These chats remain as long as the event is open. As a refresher, each individual you form a connection with will be in your My Connections list. 
These are people you can chat with. Notice that some of these people already have scheduled a meeting with you and some haven't. If you do form a connection with someone and you want to meet with them, click Meet and you will be taken to their profile. Regardless of how you found someone, whether it was through recommendations, search, or from the list, you will always be returned here if you click the Meet button. The first thing you'll see is their profile on the left again. Headline, Profile, Picture, and Name. There's also supporting information at the bottom, so you can get more information about them before you send a meeting request. The next thing to do is find a time. These are times I put in specifically for this day to show the functionality, but you will see the FarmSci 360 dates. Everyone will see these same dates. Their goal is to find the date and time that works for them. Next, click on the date to find the available time slots. Remember, it will be reflected in your time zone. There's no need to calculate the correct times. Every meeting gets its own virtual meeting room. You don't have to make them. You don't have to use a third-party service. Also, you can send a personal message to each person to break the ice and say hello. They will see this when they receive the meeting request. You can only send out a certain number of meeting requests until a limit is reached. This feature is to prevent people from sending out hundreds of requests they would never be able to keep. You can see how many requests you have remaining at the bottom. When the limit is reached, you can cancel some and send others. Or you can wait for responses to free up space for new requests. Now it's time to request the meeting. Once you click here, a screen showing the meeting details appears. It shows you are awaiting the response and it reiterates the details of the meeting. In summary, you completed your profile and received recommendations. You showed interest. You skipped a few people. You went through your skip list and your interested list. You made some connections based on interest alone and you even requested a meeting. Remember, these are people you potentially want to connect with. You can chat with them whenever you want and then decide if you want to set up a meeting. Anyone who is interested in you shows up in this list. If you click Interested Back, the handshake icon appears and they become a connection. Recommendations will be coming in constantly. You can also search for people by name or by list. Connect360 continues to provide you with individuals based on your actions. That's why you want to watch your notifications and check your schedule. This is where all those meetings go to, My Schedule. My Schedule shows your meetings that are happening now, those that are awaiting your response, and those for which you are awaiting a connections response. You can also reschedule or cancel a meeting from here. It's always best to stay on top of your schedule because canceling or rescheduling prior to the event is much easier. You can accept a request, message, reschedule, or decline directly from Connect360. You'll also receive email notifications when you are not logged into Connect360 so that you don't miss an important contact. You will get a variety of meeting request emails. These are people that you were interested in meeting as well as those who are interested in meeting you. Then there's the request itself. This is what you see if you're in the platform. It will show up just like this on your schedule. If you are outside the platform, you will get an email. You get both. This way you can't miss your connections. It's just another way you can accept or decline a request. If you choose to do it from your email, click Accept. This screen shows up. Click Accept one more time to confirm your acceptance. And that's it. One thing to keep in mind. You will receive additional emails from the platform as well. Not only will you see the request, you'll also see connection and confirmation emails. After a meeting is confirmed, Connect360 sends another email that links to your calendar. So if you're using Outlook or Google, for example, it will link there. You'll receive another email confirming the time and date. Also, Connect360 will link this to your personal calendar too, so you get reminders on your own calendar. Connect360 sends meeting confirmation emails and lets you know that your meeting will start soon. 
and Connect 360 links back to your calendar here to go to your schedule. Yours will probably look just as busy. As more and more requests come in, you'll notice they start to accumulate. Great! That is exactly what is supposed to happen to facilitate networking. But you have to remember to confirm them, either in the email, in your notifications, or in your My Schedule. Five minutes prior to your virtual meeting, this blue button will show up. This opens your virtual meeting room. When you click the button, you'll enter the virtual meeting room. Once in the meeting room, you can share your microphone and camera. You can also share a screen. Click on the People button to get more information on who you're meeting with. Their profile shows on the right. By the way, that chat was the first message that was sent out when you made the first meeting request. Any chat you have here in the meeting room will carry over into the other part of the platform in a continuous string. Your chats with another individual are available to you during the meeting, but you are unable to export them. So remember to transfer contact information that you want to save. Your time shows here. By clicking the top right close button, you leave the virtual meeting room. You can still get back into that meeting room as long as you are within the time frame set up for the meeting. It's worth saying again, within the meeting time frame, you can go in and out as you like. However, if you go out of the meeting and the end time passes, you cannot get back in. It is closed. If you are still in the meeting and the end time comes, you will not be kicked out of the meeting room if you go past your pre-scheduled time limit. You are able to stay in the meeting room as long as you want and continue a conversation with your connection. However, when you're in the virtual meeting room, you will not receive notifications there. So if you've got another meeting or another connection, for example, nothing will appear on that screen to remind you. If you schedule back-to-back -back meetings, realize that you will not receive any upcoming meeting notifications while you're in a meeting. You will need to keep track of the time so you make all your scheduled meetings. All pending meetings will show up here on your My Schedule. Let's go back to the profile to show one key way to keep track of your meetings. Click the Generate a CSV file of all accepted meetings. Doing this places all of the meetings on your schedule into an Excel spreadsheet. This spreadsheet allows you to get profile information. However, you will not get emails, phone numbers, or private contact information unless someone gives them to you. If you have a meeting coming up, initiating a chat with your connection ahead of time serves as a good reminder. Often, this is where people are comfortable sharing their emails or phone numbers in the chat from the My Connections tab. In summary, Connect360 is a powerful AI tool that will be working for you throughout FarmSci360 to offer recommendations and help you make connections. Those connections may turn into chats, virtual meetings, or be taken offline to build your own personal network. Once you register for FarmSci360, log on to Connect360 and complete your profile. Then set aside time to become familiar with its many features so you can use it to your advantage and make the most of your meeting experience.